A level math tips. These are some of the things I did to get an A star at 92%. I have made a lot of videos that are about how to get an A star in A level math, so this one is going to contain some new tips I've not shared before. This might sound really counterintuitive, but don't do past papers too early. You need to be doing past papers. On your exam board, there is only a certain number of past papers that you can do. If you do all of these at the very start of the year, then nearer to exams, you're not going to have any new questions to do if that makes sense. When you're doing practice paper questions for each topic as you're learning them, try and do past paper questions from other exam boards. When you come to revise for exams, you're trying to do a whole past paper under time conditions from your exam board, then it should be easier. You will never have seen any of the questions in that paper before. I bang on about this all the time, but you need to understand as go along. There's a reason I say this. In A-level maths, it's absolutely crucial. What you learn in one week, you use in the next week. If you learn differentiation one week, then using what you learned last week, next week. I remember we did differentiation and then we did differentiation first principles. You need to understand differentiation. Make sure that the differentiation by first principles part makes sense. Use multiple websites to get past papers and practice questions from. YouTube is definitely the best for understanding. If you don't understand a topic, I would go and do it on YouTube. And then I would try some practice paper questions. However, if you understand it and you want to do some practice, I would recommend other websites like Physics and Maths Tutor. Save my exams. Maths Genie is a great one. There is just a website called a level maths revision. I have practice questions by topic. All of the websites I just listed have practice questions by topic. Be able to practice a specific topic, not necessarily do a past paper every single time you want to practice one topic. Be practicing topics that you're weaker at. Don't just think every time you want to revise you should be doing an entire past paper. It's going to be a bit inefficient. Say you don't understand integration by parts. Go and do a question on integration by parts. If you don't understand it, go on YouTube, do a question, ask your friend. Just importantly, what I'm going to get to now, ask your teacher. Your teachers are there for a reason. When your teacher teaches something to the class, you might not necessarily understand it. At level, I was the student who would put their hand up and ask questions because I didn't understand. I feel like other people didn't understand it either and needed it explained in a different way. I know that it's not the easiest thing to put your hand up in a room, ask a question, but what you can do if you don't understand is go to the teacher after the class. I would recommend that. Just if you feel confident, I would say ask in front of the class. If you don't, don't, then go after the class. Just remember, the question that you have, another person probably has as well, and they're probably benefiting from the teacher answering your question. This video is getting extremely long, so follow for another part and follow for more GCSE and A-level math tips.